नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस लैंड वाटर फॉरेस्ट एंड मिनरल्स और द गिफ्ट ऑफ नेचर द डिमांड फॉर लैंड इंक्रीजेस विद पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ मैन के नॉट इंक्रीज द सप्लाई ऑफ लैंड हैंस देर इज अ नीड to make proper use of land land use from ancient times agricultural estates are created by encroaching and destroying forests in some areas forests are destroyed even now hence the area and quality of forests are declining the need to keep one third of the country's geographical area under forest is recognized by scientists government and people the demand for land is increasing not only in towns but also in villages for housing factories offices schools and for other uses land that is permanently barren is not useful for agriculture land remains temporarily barren for a variety of reasons some part of the land is used for cattle grazing the present area of andhra pradesh is 275 lakh hectares water resources and utilization the coastline of andhra pradesh is nearly 1000 kilometers our state has the longest coastline after gujarat there is a natural harbor at visakhapatnam Godavari, Krishna and Penna are the important rivers in the state. There are many tanks and lakes. Pulikat Lake contains salt waters. It extends over an area of 460 square kilometers. Kolleru Lake contains fresh water. It extends over an area of 250 square kilometers. The annual average rainfall in the state is not stable. Irrigation. Andhra Pradesh is mainly an agricultural state. Hence, the importance of irrigation, the sources of irrigation can be classified into two categories. 1. Surface water sources and 2. Underground water sources. Surface water flows to the fields by gravitational force. it involves less cost initial investment is higher utilization of underground water resources underground water resources in the state are estimated at 38690 million cubic meters a part of the underground water is lost through evaporation and the flow in some parts underground water cannot be utilized due to hills forest and saline lands management of underwater resources there is an utmost need to introduce appropriate management systems to safeguard underground water resources in some districts 75% of dependable underground waters is utilized long term research on underground water Underground water resources are of utmost importance for agriculture and non-agricultural development needs. Proper plans and surveys are necessary in careful estimation and utilization of water resources. Only through these methods we can safeguard underground water resources. Long-term underground water research is essential for this. Forest wealth In Andhra Pradesh forests are spread over an area of 63810 square kilometers timber and bamboo which are available from the forest are used not only for agricultural implements and furniture and also form the raw material for many industries in agency areas tamarind honey lac gum soap nuts bd leaves etc forest products are available forests preserve not only wildlife but also provide shelter to certain category of tribals the saying that if forests are protected they will protect mankind is well known 
The main objectives of the scheme are 1. To extend the area under green cover 2. To supply firewood, cattle feed and lightwood to rural people 3. To meet the needs of firewood to the urban poor 4. To provide employment opportunities in rural areas 5. To produce raw materials for paper, rayon, matchbox and allied industries. Mineral Wealth Mineral wealth is a non-renewable resource. Among the minerals available in Andhra Pradesh, coal, baritis, asbestos, mica, quartz, limestone, manganese and other types of clay, calcite, stones are prominent. In recent years, petroleum and natural gas deposits are found in Krishna Godavari Basin. 